Welcome to my SU News Channel. Camilla would never have got through without her rock, Sister Annabelle, writes Rebecca English. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. I'm here to keep my eye on her, all kinds of weather, we stick together, wrote Irving Berlin. And never has it been more appropriate than when it comes to Queen Camilla and her younger sibling, Annabelle Elliot. Not only do the sisters, born just 18 months apart, bear a striking resemblance to each other, but they speak to each other every day. Some liken their closeness to that of Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, whose bond was forged in unique of circumstances. Or even Annabelle to Charles's Anne. And it was no surprise that Mrs. Elliot was one of just a handful of people given permission by Buckingham Palace to speak about their relationship and the coronation for BBC One's Boxing Day documentary on the King's first year. Their tightness was cemented by an idyllic Sussex childhood where they would spend their free time cantering ponies over the South Downs along with their charismatic brother Mark Shand, who tragically died in 2014 after a fall. As young women, Camilla loved the debutante circuit while Annabelle was rather more serious and preferred a quieter life. She was a great success, but I certainly wasn't, she has said of her sister. I probably wasn't quite as confident as her. After school she went to Florence to study art, followed by a successful career as an antiques dealer and interior designer, while Camilla threw herself into country life as the wife of her first husband, dashing army officer Andrew Parker Bowles. But the pair remained as close as any siblings could be, speaking to each other almost every day. Annabelle and her husband, businessman and landowner Simon Elliott, settled in a beautiful country house in the Dorset village of Stourpain, where Charles and Camilla would meet for discreet weekends when they renewed their relationship following the breakdown of their respective marriages. It was no coincidence that Mrs. Elliott was seen driving her sister away from the hordes of waiting photographers when John Major announced the separation of the Prince and Princess of Wales in 1992. And it was at her 50th birthday celebrations at the Ritz in 1999 where Charles and Camilla first formalized their relationship, posing for their first public pictures together on the hotel steps. The Elliots even joined the newlyweds when they honeymooned in Scotland following their 2005 wedding. During the coronavirus pandemic the two women even joined the briefly lived house party app so they could keep in touch whilst in lockdown, sources told the Mail at the time. Mrs. Elliot suffered immense heartache as she tragically lost her husband of 50 years after a long illness in March, just weeks before her sister's coronation. King Charles was among the mourners at Simon's funeral in Dorset, with police helping to shut off road as the cortege made its way through the streets. This was a break with the past. Charles's late mother, Queen Elizabeth, would rarely attend funerals in all but the most exceptional circumstances. Despite the loss, Annabelle was still by her sister's side for the coronation in May, wiping a tear from her cheek as she watched Camilla drive off from Buckingham Palace in her golden coach. The two women are so close they even have the same taste in clothes, whether it be a day out at the races or formal gowns. Indeed, if you thought a white dress from couturier Fiona Clare, a designer Camilla was introduced to by Annabelle, naturally, sported by Her Majesty to the diplomatic corps reception last month looked strikingly familiar, you'd be right. It was a carbon copy of the gown worn by 74-year-old Mrs. Elliot when she took a starring role as a lady in attendance for May's coronation. The private has occasional seeped over into the professional, with Annabelle controversially being employed by the Duchy of Cornwall when King Charles was Prince of Wales as an interior designer, working on dozens of commercial properties and holiday rentals, as well as Dumfries House in Scotland. Her contract was never put out to commercial tender. The male understands that she has also been recently employed to undertake work on the King Sandringham estate as well as refreshing several commercial properties up at Balmoral, including a major expansion of the Castle Gift Shop. Many would have expected her to become a Queen's Companion, Camilla's six close friends who have replaced the more traditional ladies-in-waiting at Buckingham Palace as her helpers and gatekeepers. But there's a very good reason she hasn't, according to one source. First and foremost, she plays the part of being her sister which sounds a silly thing to say, but that's exactly why she is not a queen's companion, they said. It was a very deliberate decision, because neither of them wanted the balance of their relationship to be impacted by a formal role. Another adds, it's funny because most people focus their attention on her friends but it's Annabelle who, over and above anyone, is very much a rock. The queen has good instincts, as does her sister, and she trusts and relies on her implicitly. I'm not sure she, Camilla, would ever have been able to get through what she has over the years without Annabelle by her side. Source, 
dailymail.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.